Mate, you've ridden around the world. What's it like riding on the open road in Australia compared to the rest of the planet? It's beautiful out here. I mean, you know, one thing you guys have here, which you're so lucky, is you have this amazing outback not that far away from you. And, and you know, that whole thing of adventure riding and taking a bike out in your tent and, and going off into the wilderness is, is, is just wonderful. You know, in Britain and Europe, we're, it's so dense or densely populated that, that, you know, it's difficult for us to do that. So, so it's lovely. We're standing in front of the Harley Davidson stand. Have you ever considered doing a, a, your next adventure on a Harley Davidson? <laughs> on a Harley, yeah. Yeah, well, especially with that big ape hanger there, that'd be great. After about an hour, all the blood would drain from my hands and I'd have to stop. But no, I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful, you know, custom bikes. And, and I mean, I love them all. And I've got a little collection of bikes at home. And, 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 you know, it's very important to have a bike for every feeling, you know, so that when you wake up in the morning, you think, what do I feel like today? What's your top tip for someone who's about to go on an open a road adventure? As in, what should they be looking for on a bike? I think, you know, bikes are so good these days that, that I don't think it really matters. I, th I think you should come along to, the, to bike shows like this, have a look and see what you, what you like, and, and, and buy the thing that, that, that turns you on. That's, that's as simple as that. You know, get on the bike, have a look and say, I like this, and that's good enough.